Boston Jay, and this is Wicked Pissa. Well, I told you all I was doing something epic this weekend, and here I am. I'm at Tilly Bend. This here's uh, in uh, Georgia. Um, it's in the mountains, way in the mountains, up here in Georgia. Um, this here is an old, the old Baptist church. It was established in 1858, and we have also the cemetery here that goes along with the church. The story goes that there was a uh, there were two families that um, the, 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 the woman had two daughters and one daughter married somebody by the name of Tilly and the other daughter married somebody by the name of Stanley and something went wrong and there was a feud between the two families and from the story I read was that the Stanley men came here to this church and they had it they had their guns and rifles with them and they shot the place up killing a bunch of people and the pastor at the church as well now I don't know uh, the validity of the story but I have read about it online word the, the story the way the story goes is that there's a woman that they 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 claim that she was a witch and what happened was they 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 took the woman and they hung her in the biggest tree here in the in the cemetery now because they claimed that she was a witch now I say claim because I don't believe that she was but they claimed that she was a witch and what they did was now normally in in regular cemeteries uh, when you're buried you're buried facing east the reason why that is is because Christians believe that Jesus when Jesus returns he will come in the eastern sky and what they did with this woman was they buried her facing west kind of right where she landed after she was hung and that was kind of the the kick in the pants so to speak and and it was the the ultimate um, the, the the ultimate disgrace to be buried facing west now personally I don't think the woman was a witch I think uh, she just met with some unfortunate things. Now when she was hung, before she was hung, it was said that she said that she would come back and curse the area and for a while after that, um, all the children were, would, would, would die, either before birth or shortly after birth. And um, that's the sad part about this story. Now. We're going to go up here, through here. Now, I am going to be very, we're going to do this, but we're going to do this very respectfully because I feel as though if you go into this cemetery where there is so much history and, and so much uh, sadness that, you know, you need to do it respectfully and you need to treat the people that are here respectfully. Even those that are claimed I say claimed to be witches so yeah let's go off into this area and we'll check it all out and um, we'll have a good time well 
I don't know about having a good time, but we'll see what we can get into. All right, we'll talk to you. Now, folks, we come in peace. We mean none of you any harm. We're just here to talk to you and to help if we can. We come with the most respect that anybody could possibly come with. And we mean that from the bottom of our hearts. So if you, if you want to speak with us, that's great. If you don't, that's okay too. Now folks, I have in my hand here this is little device. It's a little black box I have. Okay? When I turn this on, you'll you'll you can talk to me through this and I'll be able to hear you. Okay, so if you want to talk to me, that's fine. Again, if you don't want to talk to me, that's okay too. Okay, I just want you folks, I want your story to be told. And I want it to be done respectfully. Okay? Once again, I don't mean any of you any harm. I'm here peacefully. Okay? I'm here just to tell your story. Okay? If you choose to speak with me, you can talk right into this little black box that I have. Okay? And I'll be able to hear you.
And when this fought in the War of 1812. I see. Again, I'm here peacefully, folks. Okay? I don't mean any of you any harm, nor does my son. We are here peacefully. We just want to hear your story. If you have a story to tell, if you'd like to say something, this little black box that I have here, you can, you can speak into this black box. And I'll be able to hear you. And I'll be able to tell your story. One of these grave sites it's hard to read the uh, the inscription because it's so old. Look at this old this old marker right here. All it says is K. That's it. No name, no date. Just says K. I think you were wrongly accused. Okay guys, so I went through here, as you saw, and um, 
to me it was fairly flat. Um, there wasn't any odd feelings. There wasn't any, you know, anything that jumped out at me. Um, it's, it's actually a very sad place. Um, it's very somber. And um, I, I wanted to come here and give it its due respect. And um, that's what I did, I think. And I want to thank my son, Drew, for coming along with me today. Uh, we had a rough, a rough ride down, uh, a rough ride up here from, from Florida. And a big shout out to uh, my fan who invited us up, Angie Corbin. Thank you very, very much. We enjoyed ourselves. And um, yeah, thanks for coming along with us. And... Um, I'll see you guys on the flip. Later.